This video was made in collaboration with the Avatar Wiki. If you'd like to learn more, check out the link in the description. 26 Fire Nation Animals A vast range of fauna inhabit the world, ranging over virtually every landscape as well as the oceans and skies. Most of the animals presented are hybrids of two real-world animals. Sometimes the hybridization is explicit, at other times more subtle. There are certain exemptions though, such as Quay's pet bear Bosco, the herbalist cat Miyuki, or the messenger hawk. Welcome to the Imagi. In today's video, we're going over 26 Fire Nation animals. Before we begin, we publish a new video every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Aquatic Animals – Badger Frog The badger frog is a furry, hopping animal that is indigenous to the Western Fire Nation. Zuko used a badger frog as a practice audience when attempting to prepare for an introduction to Team Avatar while at the Western Air Temple. It croaked in response to Zuko's remarks, and though hopped away, remained near his campsite. There were a number of badger frogs living all around the Air Temple, and Zuko used them on at least one occasion as a timer for Avatar Aang and to practice his firebending forms. Aquatic Animals – Clam The clam is an animal found in the Fire Nation, more specifically the Zhanghui River. It was consumed regularly by the residents of Zhanghui in the latter stages of the Hundred Year War. A Fire Nation army factory near Zhanghui began polluting the surrounding river with its sludge waste. This resulted in vast ecological damage to the surrounding area, including the clams. Despite these changes, they still continued to sell these clams along with other mutated wildlife. A few of these creatures were presented to Team Avatar, who neglected buying them out of disgust. Aquatic Animals – Flying Dolphinfish the flying dolphinfish is a predominantly aquatic animal found in waters all over the world and sought out as a form of recreation. While escorting Zuko and his family back to the Fire Nation mainland, Avatar Aang and Ki decided to ride on a flying dolphinfish, much to the amusement of the other members of Team Avatar. Despite Katara's invitation, Sokka refused to mount one of the creatures, stating that he preferred his rides to be mechanical. Alarmed over Ki riding on top of a wild creature, Ursa beckoned the two of them to return to the Fire Nation cruiser, where Aang apologized and reassured her that flying dolphinfish are among the gentlest creatures in the world. In 171 AG, Avatar Korra smiled as a pod of flying dolphinfish flanked her boat while she was sailing from the Southern Water Tribe to the Earth Kingdom. Aquatic Animals – Iguana Seal The Iguana Seal is a creature that inhabits the outlying islands of the Fire Nation. It enjoys swimming and is acclimated to life in hot, humid areas where it is typically found. Sailors used to believe that the call of the iguana seal was that of a mermaid. However, upon finding the source of these sounds, sailors were disappointed to realize that they were only animals and killed them for food. Aquatic Animals – Manatee Whale The manatee whale is an aquatic creature that is used in the Fire Nation as a mode of transportation over the seas. This large and powerful creature is used to pull boats that lack engines or sails. A manatee whale was used to transport the children of Fire Lord Ozai, Princess Azula and Prince Zuko, as well as their friends, May and Tai Lee, to Ember Island. Aquatic Animals – Turtle Crab The turtle crab is a hybridized creature known to inhabit the shores of the Fire Nation. Prior to his ascension to the Fire Nation throne, Ozai and his family frequently went on a vacation to Ember Island. During one of these trips, while they relaxed on the beach, Zuko saw a hawk trying to catch a turtle crab and ran over to it. He grabbed the turtle crab in his arms in an attempt to save it, but soon realized he was starving the hawk. Before he could make a decision, a giant wave washed them both out to sea. After the Hundred Year War, Zuko went to see an imprisoned Ozai, who referred to this incident as evidence of Zuko's indecisiveness. Aquatic Animals – Turtle Duck The turtle duck is a creature that lives in ponds throughout the world. It has an inclination for the warm weather of the Fire Nation, but can also be found in the Earth Kingdom as well as Avatar Korra Park in Republic City. In ancient times, the large turtle duck pond added to the Fire Nation Royal Palace became one of the structure's most widely known features. By the time of Avatar Kyoshi, many Earth Kingdom nobles had constructed their own mansions in the likeness of the Fire Nation Royal Palace, including a turtle duck pond. When Zuko was a child, he and his mother Ursa would sit together by the edge of the Fire Nation Royal Palace's pond and feed the turtle ducks with bits of bread. When Zuko imitated how his sister Azula fed the turtle ducks by throwing a whole loaf of bread at one of the ducklings, the mother duck bit his leg in retaliation. Ursa gently pulled the duck from Zuko's leg and placed it back in the water. The mother and her turtle ducklings subsequently swam away. 
Several years later, after he had returned to the Fire Nation, Zuko revisited the same pond to feed the small creatures like before. However, when Azula arrived to speak with him, the turtle ducks swam away hastily, disturbed by her presence. Following the rescue of Hakoda from Galak's clutches, Team Avatar prepared a celebratory meal featuring dishes from all four nations. Toph prepared Bray's turtle duck, representing the Earth Kingdom. After the invasion of the United Republic of Nations, two young turtle ducks that had been separated from their owners during the evacuation of Republic City were taken under the wing of Jobal. After Milo found and convinced him to come to the evacuee camp, the turtle ducks were returned to their owners. Aquatic Animals, Two-Headed Fish The two-headed fish was a mutated amphibious animal that populated the Jianghui River in the Fire Nation and was consumed regularly by the nearby residents of Jianghui. During the Hundred Year War, a neighboring Fire Nation army began polluting the Jianghui River with its sludge-like waste. This resulted in vast ecological damage to the surrounding area, including the fish, causing them to mutate and grow two heads. Despite these changes, Zhu still continued to sell these fish along with other mutated wildlife. One of these creatures was presented to Team Avatar. Sokka promptly chose it over the non-mutated variety, remarking to the rest of the disgusted team that they would get more for their money that way. Flying Animals, Dragon The dragon is the original practitioner of firebending, capable of breathing fire. The species demonstrated the true way of firebending to the Sun Warrior's civilization, a precursor to the modern-day Fire Nation and to Wan, the first avatar. As such, dragons are highly respected by both the Sun Warriors and the Fire Nation. After Wan was banished from his village atop a Fire Lion Turtle around 9832 BG, but having been allowed to keep the power over fire from the creature, he began his life among the spirits in the spirit wilds. There, he came across a white dragon who performed intricate movements while flying through the sky. Wan mimicked these movements and became the first known human to perform the dancing dragon. Millennia after Wan's encounter with a dragon, Aang and Kuzan searched Fire Nation mountaintops in the hopes of finding the elusive dragons a hundred years before Aang was frozen in the iceberg. They ended up saving a dragon egg from poachers and giving the egg back to its mother. During his time as Fire Lord, Sozin began the tradition throughout the Fire Nation of hunting dragons as the ultimate sport. Anyone who managed to slay a dragon earned the honorary title of dragon, and their talents as firebenders would become legendary. Near the end of the Hundred Year War, dragons were thought to be extinct due to General Iroh's claim that he had killed the final one. However, Aang and Zuko discovered that two dragons, Ran and Shaw, were still alive, deducing that Iroh had lied to protect the species. By 171 AG, a new dragon, Druk, had been born and came to be used by Zuko as a means of transportation. However, dragons were still an extremely rare sight and very few people were still aware of their existence, as the average person was shocked to view one. Flying Animals Flutterbat The Flutterbat is a hybridized creature found in Forgetful Valley. One was chased by Aang during Team Avatar's journey to find Ursa. When Aang entered Forgetful Valley during Team Avatar's search for Ursa, his face twisted into a strange expression in a similar manner to what had happened when they first encountered the wolf spirit. Sokka pointed out that the face Aang was making was similar to the markings on a nearby flutterbat, and Aang attempted to follow it. The flutterbat, however, flew off, and Aang was forced to create an air scooter to keep up. The bat eventually reached one of the four pools in the forest, and Aang ceased his pursuit, believing that the flutterbat had been leading him to the pool. The flutterbat subsequently flew off, after Aang had crossed over into the spirit world, he found the same flutterbat hanging from a tree waiting for him. The flutterbat informed Aang that it could show him what he sought, and flew Aang on its back across the forest to the location of the wolf spirit. Flying Animals, Lion Vulture The lion vulture is a hybridized creature that is used for entertainment in the Fire Nation circus. The lion vulture is a large, quadruped bird with large wings and a feline-like body. Its head and neck have no feathers, though there is a white feathered collar where its neck meets its body. Its wings and upper body have black feathers, while its feet and underbody are that of a feline with tawny colored fur. Flying Animals, Messenger Hawk. The Messenger Hawk is a moderately sized raptor that can be used to transport message scrolls carried in canisters tied to their backs, with different colored ribbons to indicate the importance or intended receiver. These hawks are regularly used to deliver messages throughout the Fire Nation, its colonies in the Earth Kingdom, and can be bought at post offices such as the one located in Fire Fountain City, which have large roosting towers for the birds. In 296 BG, a messenger hawk was used by Saiful to inform Chamberlain Hui of Kiyoshi's capture by a Fei. 
The Fire Nation used these birds extensively in the Hundred Year War to effectively communicate from the battlefield to the mainland. A messenger hawk delivered a message to Commander Zhao while he was residing at Pohuai Stronghold, informing him that he had been promoted to Admiral. Fire Nation naval officers sent a messenger hawk to the mainland in order to explain that the Water Tribe fleet for which they had been searching was destroyed. The message the bird transmitted turned out to be false, however, when the warriors of the fleet revealed themselves to be alive. Two Fire Nation guards sent a black ribbon message on a hawk to the Fire Lord after they discovered the Avatar, who was at that time believed to be dead, at the secluded hot springs. The hawk was later captured by Combustion Man's Raven Eagle. Sokka purchased a messenger hawk, whom he subsequently named Hawkey, after he, Toph, and Aang won a large amount of money scamming through the use of rigged betting games. Hockey was sent to deliver a message to Toph's mother and father. After the Hundred Year War, the use of the messenger hawk spread to other nations. Yi Li, an Earth Kingdom resident, sent a hawk to contact the members of the official Avatar Aang fan club in Yudao. Flying Animals, Raven Eagle The Raven Eagle is an avian animal and bird of prey. It can be trained to intercept messenger hawks. Combustion Man owned a Raven Eagle, which he used to intercept a messenger hawk carrying information about Aang's whereabouts. The Raven Eagle tied the hawk up, stole the message it was carrying, and delivered it to Combustion Man, thus keeping the Avatar's survival after the coup of Ba Sing Se a secret. Flying Animals, Toucan Puffin The Toucan Puffin is a small, piscivorous, insectivorous bird native to the outer islands of the Eastern Fire Nation. While mostly black-feathered, the Toucan Puffin has a white belly and blue breast with white spots around the eyes. Its most distinctive feature is its large, colorful beak banded in red with a black tip. Terrestrial Animals, Aardvark Sloth The Aardvark Sloth, also known as the Anteater Sloth, is an animal commonly found in the Fire Nation archipelago, more specifically in the ruins of the Sun Warrior's ancient city. While trying to find the original source of firebending, Zuko and Aang explored the Sun Warrior's ancient city. Upon finding an ancient relic, Zuko removed it from its pedestal, accidentally triggering a trap that covered them in viscous slime. After the two benders were found by the Sun Warriors, two aardvark sloths were used to remove the remaining slime on their bodies and clothes. Terrestrial Animals Armadillo Bear The armadillo bear is a chimerical hybrid of an armadillo and a bear. An armadillo bear was considered a monster by Fire Nation Village after two children returned from the forest claiming to have seen something huge and furry moving behind the bushes. Sokka set out to defeat the beast, thinking it was only Appa, in order to earn money. Sokka attempted to put on a show for the villagers, pointedly asking the beast to do the same. The armadillo bear turned to roar at Sokka, who quickly realized his mistake. Appa arrived to confront the armadillo bear and headbutted it. The armadillo bear curled up into a defensive ball before being knocked away by Appa's tail. Terrestrial Animals, Cave Hopper The cave hopper is a creature that resembles a grasshopper with a distinct albino appearance. It can be found in the cool caves of the Fire Nation, as it is intolerant to sunlight and spends most of its life inside dimly lit caverns, where it can eat algae and other vegetation. Cave hoppers are among the favorite snacks of the toucan puffins. While staying in a beach cave, Team Avatar discussed the possibility of getting disguises. Toph reasoned that they could use the new clothing to blend in and get real food. To emphasize her point, she hit the wall, causing a group of cave hoppers to jump out and flee. One of the creatures was caught by Momo and promptly eaten, though the winged lemur subsequently spat out a half-eaten limb. Terrestrial Animals, Dragon Moose The dragon moose is a chimerical animal used to pull carriages in the Fire Nation. The dragon moose is a quadruped with the approximate size and build of a moose. Its head is topped by a pair of long, back-curving, bifurcated horns, and its neck and shoulders are covered by a dark mane. Its relation to a dragon is indicated by the resemblance of its ears to the wings of a bat, the long barbels at the corners of its mouth, and the row of dorsal spines extending from the nape of its neck to the tufted tip of its tail. Terrestrial Animals Elephant Rat The elephant rat is a small rodent found throughout the world. Typically residing in urban environments, the elephant rat frequently searches for food in old, rundown areas. During her time in the Fire Nation prison, Hama used elephant rats in her development and practice of bloodbending. In 100 AG, Aang was imprisoned in Chin Village for Avatar Kyoshi's alleged murder of Chin the Conqueror. While in his jail cell, he saw an elephant rat grab an acorn on the ground before scampering off. In 174 AG, Batar Jr. claimed that Varric was crazier than a sewer pipe elephant rat. Terrestrial Animals, Hippo Cow 
The hippo cow is a large, omnivorous, domesticated animal indigenous to the Fire Nation, though after the Hundred Year War, these creatures were also kept on Earth Kingdom farms. One of these creatures ran loose in a Fire Nation bazaar visited by Team Avatar. After seeing the animal enjoy a meal of meat, Sokka was inspired to use it as a persuasive argument to coax Aang into entering a meat shop with them, referring to the animal while noting that even the meat ate meat. A flying, fire-breathing hippo cow carrying Fire Lord Ozai on its back appeared in one of Aang's nightmares. Several hippo cows were kept on a small farm not far from the capital of the state of Yi. Terrestrial Animals, Koala Sheep The koala sheep is a chimerical creature found in the Fire Nation. While staying at the Black Cliffs, Katara awoke one night to witness Aang anxiously pacing around a flock of koala sheep after having experienced a nightmare. Later, during a therapy session with Sokka, Aang lay down using koala sheep as a pillow. He was told by Sokka to scream into another koala sheep as a means of releasing his pent-up stress. Later, Team Avatar sheared several koala sheep and used their collective wool to create a makeshift cot for Aang to sleep on. Terrestrial Animals, Komodo Rhino the Komodo rhino is an animal from the Fire Nation, bred both as a beast of burden, both for war and for civilian purposes, and for its meat and Komodo sausages. During the Hundred Year War, the Fire Nation used these creatures as a cavalry mount or as beasts of burden. Often decorating them in red, Komodo rhinos have been used in almost every Fire Nation military operation, such as the Siege of the North and the Invasion of the Fire Nation, although they were most prominently used by the Rough Rhinos. Because of their widespread use by the Fire Nation Army, Fire Nation boot camps had an exercise designed to train new recruits in how to mount and ride a Komodo rhino. Terrestrial Animals, Mongoose Lizard The mongoose lizard, also known as a mongoose dragon, is a giant reptilian creature originating from the tropical jungles of the Fire Nation and domesticated by Fire Nation citizens. These animals were notably used as mounts by Azula, Mei, and Tai Li to chase the Avatar. Shortly after Toph Beifang joined Team Avatar, Azula, Mei, and Tai Li relentlessly tracked them down in a tank train. They eventually exited the tank train on Mongoose Lizard and continued to attack the group on the creatures. After Team Avatar split up, Azula had Mei and Tai Li pursue Sokka and Katara while she pursued Aang. Mei and Tai Li were able to successfully traverse the Nanshan River to reach Sokka, Katara, and Appa as the Mongoose Lizards were capable of running across the water's surface. While searching for Aang on Mongoose Lizards later on, the trio encountered the Kyoshi warriors in Appa, emerging victorious in the ensuing battle. Terrestrial Animals, Puma Goat The Puma Goat is a chimerical hybrid of a puma and a mountain goat. These creatures can be domesticated and used as mounts and beasts of burden. Aang and Kuzan encountered Puma Goats while on a hunt to find a dragon. While climbing a cliffside, they heard the loud sound of a man's voice calling out in a taunting manner. Investigating, they saw a man mounted on a Puma Goat standing beside a large cave. Upon seeing a green dragon's face appear out of the darkness, the beast and rider took off down the mountainside, the dragon hot on their tails. The duo subsequently looked up to find five other poachers in their puma goat mounts standing near the dragon's nest. A pair of them entered the cave, stole the dragon egg from within, and strapped it to one of the waiting puma goats. By impersonating the mother dragon, Aang, Kuzan, and Appa managed to scare the poachers away and cause panic among the herd of puma goats. The one carrying the egg remained calm. However, as Aang proceeded to remove the egg from its saddle, the animal reared up at the sight of the dragon's actual return, causing Aang to drop and nearly break the egg. Terrestrial Animals, Squirrel Toad. The squirrel toad is a small hybrid creature with the body of a toad and the tail of a squirrel. It dwells in the Forgetful Valley and was pointed out by Sokka during Team Avatar's travels through the forest as one of the entities that had markings similar to a face. The squirrel toad has pale yellow colored skin and a brown back. A lightly colored smiling face runs over the entirety of its back when influenced by the mother of faces, and at the end of its body dangles a fluffy brown tail. It has webbed feet, a relatively large mouth that covers the width of its face, and two large yellow eyes. Terrestrial Animals, Tiger Monkey. The tiger monkey is a chimerical creature that inhabits the Fire Nation. The tiger monkey is bipedal in appearance, possessing the body of a monkey and the fur of a tiger. It has orange skin with large, cream-colored patches on its stomach and legs, as well as a long, thin tail. There is a line of light skin running from eye to eye, and black stripes streak across its scalp between large, round ears that jut out of its head. It also possesses long claws on its hands and feet, and large fangs that protrude from its mouth. When sitting, the tiger monkey crouches on its hind legs and extends its frontmost arms, with its tail resting upright. 
Did you enjoy our video? Be sure to check out these other great videos from the Amagi, and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.